All right, so I am going to share with you my second and third trimester symptoms. I am currently 29 and a half weeks pregnant. <sighs> so out of breath. Because <sighs> I went up the stairs and that causes you to be completely out of breath. So I'll show you my belly. This is weird. I'm wearing the same shirt I found out that I was pregnant in. But here's my belly okay so i noticed this last week from 27 to 29 weeks the belly got like really hard all of a sudden like it's not squishy it's like super hard um so i did do a video on my first trimester symptoms my 18 week symptoms um and yeah i said the first trimester 18 weeks it was absolute torture and hell. Like it was so bad. Um, a lot of digestive stomach issues and it did get better after that. But now I feel like now I'm going the third trimester. I'm starting to feel like nausea and um, like food aversions, which I think is the worst. So I'll just go quickly through my second trimester symptoms from week 19. Um, so I actually have this like book that I write down notes and I've been taking video footage of my week to week, um, week to week belly shots and I'm going to collate all of them and make a pregnancy video. But, um, from week 19, basically the second trimester, I was just starving. So I think that's like the theme is like, I've been starving all the time. And so um, during the second trimester, I was just waking up at 3 a.m. and I would have to eat something. And it's really, really inconvenient because when you wake up at 3 a.m., I couldn't go back to sleep until 6 a.m. So I just wasn't getting enough sleep. Um, throughout my pregnancy, I've been having really, really bad sinuses. Um, just my nose has been super congested. Um, and when I wake up, I always feel like I'm hit by a truck because my nose, my brain, everything is so congested. I do sleep with a humidifier. I do have an air purifier in my room and in the house, but I still feel like I'm so congested. Um, and also I am getting cold sores all the time. So this is a cold sore and I get one on here and I'm just, it just doesn't go away. It keeps erupting and my skin is very, very dry. And I also have melasma. You can see like those little dots. Um, and it's just like dry, like everywhere is dry. My eczema is really bad. And also my hair is not oily anymore. Like I can go a few days without washing it. Um, that usually didn't be the case. So I'm just like dry everywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Um, from week 21, I started getting Charlie horses, which hurt like hell. And then I would get a Charlie horse every week. And I've been taking magnesium for that and also trying to make sure I'm eating um, bananas. I have a banana every morning. And from week 21, uh, my joints and my legs are hurting constantly. Like even right now, I feel like, like leg cramping. Like you know how when you are on a 15 hour flight and you feel like your legs are gonna fall off? I feel like that all the time. So your legs are just like so sore and tired and my joints feel very weak. Um, I felt kicks at week 21 and what the kicks felt like was like gas bubbles or like sparkling champagne in your stomach. That's what it felt like. Um, so the second trimester, the kicks are cute. It's like little bubbles and little pops. But now in the third trimester, it's like getting kind of annoying because sometimes it kind of like like the kicks will like really like inconvenience you kind of <laughs> like they're not cute they're just like oh my god you know kind of thing um but yeah week 21 is just super tired and hungry and basically I've been hungry this entire pregnancy um even though I've been nauseous so I think that's like the worst feeling is just be starving all the time but then be like very averse to food um Okay, so yeah, just needing to pee all the time. I'm just super tired. 
um, very hungry and I need to eat every two hours, but I don't want to eat anything. Um, at week 23, I had terrible, terrible heartburn that was like impacting my life. Um, so apparently when you have a lot of heartburn, it means the baby has a lot of hair and, uh, we found out she's a girl. So she's definitely gonna have a lot of hair just like me. I mean, look at this. Um, just like hungry sinus, everything. Okay. Then I went to New York city and that was okay, but I had all these plans to like do these things and I was just so exhausted. Like I was supposed to meet up with some people and I just like couldn't do it. I was so tired. So the exhaustion is real. The exhaustion is real. Okay. So then at 28 weeks, um, from that point on, I was just basically just like really, really, really tired and really hungry all the time. That's basically my motto. And now at 28 to 29 weeks, um, I found out I am anemic. So I don't have enough red blood cells because the amount of blood you have in your body being pumped like increases significantly. So um, the red the red blood cells, uh, or sorry, I don't have enough red blood cells. So I'm just like constantly tired. Um, and yeah, baby kicks, um, like in a pattern, like baby will kick, um, usually like at 11, 10 to 11 AM and then like 11 to 11 PM to 12 AM. Um, and the kicking sometimes just gets like really intense now. Um, so at 29 weeks right now, which I am at, I am having a lot of trouble sleeping. Um, I'm getting nightmares. I don't sleep well. The baby, you don't stop kicking and I'm just like exhausted and tired all the time. Like I feel like I'm back to my first trimester in which I just haven't left the house in a long time. I'm ordering delivery all the time, which is like not good because it gets really expensive and it's not good for you. But I'm like so hungry, <laughs> but I don't want to eat anything. So the nausea is not as bad as in the first trimester, but the exhaustion is real in the third trimester. And first trimester, I wasn't exhausted. I was just very nauseous and dizzy, like hangover wise, like you have a hangover. The third trimester right now, um, the exhaustion, I want to try to explain it to you what it feels like. It doesn't feel like you don't get enough sleep exhaustion. That's different. Third trimester exhaustion feels like, um, you know, when you run like 10 miles, let's say, or like run a lot, exercise a lot, and you don't exercise that much. And then you like sit down for 15 minutes or 30 minutes, take a quick cat nap and you wake up and you just feel like lead and you can't move and you can't do anything. You don't want to look at anything. That's what it feels like, that kind of exhaustion. So it's real. The home stretch is coming. I have 10 more weeks, which is crazy because that's literally, is that three months? 10 weeks. No, not three months. That's less than three months. So, um, yeah, so just so tired, so tired and my legs hurt all the time. So a lot of times, especially like uh, when we have meetings and stuff, even an hour sitting down, it like hurts my legs a lot. So I'll have to um, lay down on a bed or I will have to like stretch out my legs because it just hurts. Ow.